Three rumors with credible sources. Three potential PSVR titles and three potential killer apps for virtual reality in general. Let me say one thing before I start talking about these rumors, and that is that they are exactly that. They are rumors. Nothing I'm about to say has been confirmed, although I do think there is considerable weight and credibility behind some of these rumors, but some of them are old, maybe been around for a couple of years, maybe things have changed, maybe projects have been scrapped, altered, cancelled, whatever. So do keep that in mind. And also, each of these rumors I'm going to discuss in this video, I have covered separately in their own videos, and I will link those in the description if you want to go into detail about, you know, that specific one. There'll be more detail. This is more of an overview in this video. Kind of a reminder, lest we forget that we have lots of exciting things in the pipeline hopefully. So let me start with the rumoured Horizon Zero Dawn VR title being developed by Sony London Studios. Now this rumour began life a while back, I think it was 2019, thanks to a tweet by a Callum Hurley. Now this gentleman was a former employee of Oculus. He is well embedded in the virtual reality scene and I have no reason to question his credibility or not to take him at face value what he said in those tweets. Essentially, what he did say in those tweets is that he knows someone who was playtesting for Sony London Studios and that they were playtesting a virtual reality. Well, he never actually named Horizon Zero Dawn, although the tweets heavily implied it was Horizon based on his capitalization of the word Horizon and he never denied it since. So while he said he himself has not seen it, it's that this person that he knows has playtested. Now we don't know exactly the details of this game, of course we don't know anything about this game. We don't know if it's like a port of the original Horizon Zero Dawn, maybe it's a spin-off based entirely in virtual reality, built for the ground up, virtual reality, might not be called Horizon Zero Dawn, it could be called Horizon something something, you know, like a spin-off, uh, a side plot, might not even be the main character, there's like so much potential, it could be anything. So these rumours began circulating right around the time that Sony London Studio had been done basically with Blood and Truth, which is the last game they put out in 2019. And by checking on their website, we can see that they are hiring for a project of some kind, so we know they're working on something. We don't have any guarantee that it is a virtual reality title, but based on their track record, they do seem to be Sony's in-house virtual reality specialists, so I would be surprised if they're not kept on in that function, in that role, and it's going to be a couple of years in 2021 since Blood and Truth, so maybe sometime this year, maybe towards the tail end of this year, we might be able to expect to hear about whatever they're working on now. Is it the Horizon game? Could it be something completely different? Maybe Blood and Truth 2, a sequel, or who knows? This could be the year we find out. If not, you'd imagine next year. I suppose it all depends on the size of this game, the size of the project. I should also mention that Callum Hurley said in his tweets originally that he didn't know if this game was being targeted for a PS4 release or a PS5 release or both. There is also the possibility that it's not even for PSVR 1, that it could be for maybe a next generation headset that we don't know about yet. So that's rumoured game number one that we should remind ourselves of. Let's move on to the next one, which is, of course, Silent Hill. Now, this game has been rumoured to hell and back in the past year, 18 months, something like that. There's been multiple sources talking about this. There has been a fellow by the name of Dusk Gollum on Twitter, and he has been very reliable with Resident Evil leaks, uh, who claims he has insiders on a Silent Hill project of some kind, and that they are indeed working on some kind of Silent Hill thing. Then there was the website Rely on Horror, and they claim to have two separate sources backing individual claims up together. They were matching together. And in their sources, they claimed that there was a new Silent Hill game. Actually, I believe they said there were two new Silent Hill games and that Kojima could be involved in one of them, which would be kind of crazy. But in one of those ones, it's not clear which one, that there would be virtual reality support for Sony's next generation VR headset again. We don't know what that is. It's not been confirmed by Sony. They're not talking about that. We probably won't. They probably won't talk about it until later this year or next year at the earliest i would imagine now again check the link in the description if you want to go into more detail about this specific leak and more information and more sources backing things up and, and like the original creators and whatnot talking about things and dropping hints now there hasn't been much of an update with regards to this 
uh, similarly to Horizon, it's been pretty quiet, but there has been one thing that's been pretty interesting and worth pointing out, and that is there was a recent interview with the original composer of the the original Silent Hill games from 1 to 4, I believe. He lets slip that he's working on something that he thinks the fans will be happy about and that he's hoping people will hear about this in the summer. Now, that interview has since been pulled. I'm not using his exact word in there, but it was along those lines of fans will be, you know, happy to see this or hear about this and it'll be sometime in the summer. So very interesting that that was taken down. You would imagine if it's false, why would they take it down? So now that, of course, doesn't guarantee virtual reality. But it does point to Silent Hills, and if Silent Hills is a thing, or Silent Hill, I should say, who knows which version it's going to be, I don't know. Uh, we might have something to look forward to there. Of course, if the original rumor is true, and it's not until PS Viewer 2 that we get that, then we could be waiting, you know, quite some time for that one. So maybe keep that one towards the back of your mind, but still an exciting rumor nonetheless, with or without Kojima. And then finally, we have the rumor of Rockstar's triple a open world vr title that they're working on and this rumor came to light thanks to a linkedin listing and that listing was made by video games deluxe and that is the name of the studio who handled the la noir vr case files so they're behind that uh, so it seems according to this listing that rockstar has tasked this same studio once again with making a virtual reality game presumably using a rockstar ip could be a brand new IP, but you would imagine it's probably an existing IP. Now, whether or not uh, the IP will be, you know, a port of an existing game, or whether it'll be like a ground up virtual reality experience built within the GTA universe or the Red Dead universe or something like that, we don't know. Uh, so we're still left with those same questions we had when we heard about this first and of course there was no mention of platforms whatsoever in that list and so it's, it's entirely possible that this one will miss PlayStation entirely or we might have to wait for PS Viewer 2 depending on what it is who knows you know but a rock star open world virtual reality triple A title is definitely the kind of thing we want to see it's the kind of thing that's going to keep us positive when it comes to virtual reality and you know its outlook going forward into the future and it's definitely one of those rumors that we shouldn't forget this is not even a rumor really i mean it's kind of confirmed of course the only thing we need to keep in mind is you know rockstar could change their mind describe it so in that regards it's not set in cement it's not been announced so i guess it's kind of a rumor that way but a linkedin listing is pretty hard evidence again check link in the description if you want to go into more detail about that particular rumor and that is it for the three rumored ps viewer games that we still have to look forward to that we still can, you know, lay awake at night, you know, fantasizing about. Could be in the distant future, could be on a new headset that we haven't even seen yet. Regardless, future is looking bright. With that being said, I would like to end this video right there. Thank you very much for watching. Before I end the video though, let me thank my Patreon supporters whose names are on the screen as we speak. Thanks to their generosity, their help keeping this channel going and helping me make videos like this. In particular, let me thank the top tier Patreon supporters. Daniel the Pumpkin Patch, Kid, Columbus Thomas III, Crumb, Tradition, Chop 517 and Pete Hawkins. Thank you very much for that generosity. It is very much appreciated. If you'd like to help out the channel, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash petrifying pumpkins. Link to that in the description. Also, if not, I'd be happy with the like, subscribe, comments, you know, discussion, whatever. That usual YouTube and shite. Finally, let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. You can check him on Decepticon.com. Link in the description. And with that, I will end this video. Lads and ladies, please stay moist.